OK. Well, if you guys are converting to radians, um, all we simply need to do, guys, to convert this is remember our conversion ratio. And our conversion ratio, when going from degrees to radians, is you're simply just going to multiply this by pi over 180. OK? Now, in, in this example, we're not going to have anything as far as um, our radians. We're really not going to want to leave. Like, if you remember, if we had like 60, I could reduce that fraction. But since I have 71.72, it's really not going to really be easy to reduce any kind of fraction with this. However, we know that by using my division property, the degrees go out. And then for I basically have 71.72 pi over 180. So technically, that is a measure of an angle in radians. Or if we wanted to approximate it, we could also do 71.72 times pi and then divide that by 180, which is approximately 1.25 radians. I just multiplied 71.72 times pi divided by 180. And it gave me 1.125. Yes. Yes, Caitlin. Yes. I don't know. I don't know what you did. <laughs> <laughs> 